Hey guys, what is up? Fluffy Ninja from Warp Crew. Um, this is this is gonna be a little bit of a different video. I don't really have it planned out or anything like that. Um, it's what is today? It's Saturday. Uh, I have to go to work in a few hours. I still have to finish cleaning up the house for some stuff. But this this is something that just kind of it just kind of struck me as something that people need to understand. People need to talk about, especially if you're becoming part of a team. No, like I'm not. You know, I'm not like trying to call anybody out or anything like this. But, oh, uh, that happened. I don't know if you guys saw that on Instagram or whatever, but, uh, yeah, that, that happened. But, um, I don't know, it's, it's just something that I've kind of noticed throughout the teams that I've played for, the teams that I've played on, the teams that I've put together, the teams that, uh, I've coached, the teams that I, you know, the, the various teams that I've been a part of, um, you know, back from when I was playing, uh, D... D4, D whatever the lowest rank was, all the way up to when I was playing D2 and stuff like that. Um, it's, I mean, I've, I've even noticed it, like, when I played against the Aftershock guys and when I, you know, when I used to play with them all the time out of Badlands. It's, for some reason, for teams, it's like, it's never enough, or they don't, they don't understand how sponsorship works. And it's, it's one of those things that, like, I'm not, I'm not, like, saying that my team, you know, doesn't know how that works. I've tried to explain it to him hundreds of times, um, and I've done that with every team that I've been on. It's it's just something that I think needs to be broken down and like actually talked about. Um, sponsorship is not you getting stuff for free. That's not what that's about. I know like pro teams they get a massive fucking discount on guns and stuff like that. Like I like my phone right now is sitting on top of my Shocker and my Lux Ice. Because those are the perfect height for this. But, I, you know, talking about it with Corey Field, I, he disclosed no information to me about sponsorships. Uh, talking about it with um, Russell from Shocker and, you know, talking now with uh, Tim Montressor from DLX. Because Warp Crew has gotten the opportunity to be sponsored by DLX and Shocker. And that's an amazing opportunity. I've had opportunities like this in the past and they just never seem to pan out. Um, I know the first couple teams that I was with, you know, we, we had uh, a deal from Smart Parts back, back when they were still, you know, like, holy shit, the Ion is really cool. And before it turned into a meme of, I don't want your shitty Ion, um, you know, we had the opportunity, hey, if you buy X amount of guns, you get it for this price per gun, and you guys are free to do whatever you want with them. Um, and I, I remember everybody just kind of, well... Why don't they just give them to us? And it for for these companies, this is it's it's a business. That's the thing. Paintball is a business. Granted, paintball is at the point where it's not that good of a business. You know, and you're not selling you know hundreds of thousands of dollars of stuff every year. You know, uh, talking about it with George from War Sports. I mean, he's not doing anywhere near the same about same amount of business that he used to do. You know, Rannick over at Bad Boys, he's not doing the same amount of business that he used to because the industry has changed. The internet came through and fucked everybody over. So it's it's one of those things that, you know, it you're not making as much money as you used to. I mean, fuck the Spider Cup in 2008. That's not that long ago, okay? That's, what, nine years ago? They used to give away Hummers and fucking, you know... Like, they used to give away cars. Now pros are playing for $20,000. You know, I mean, fuck. That's, and this is how they make their living, the professional paintballers. But most of them have a fallback thing where, like Tim Montressor, he works for um, GOG Paintball, Shocker, DLX, etc. You know, they, they do a lot of that stuff. The clinics and stuff like that help a lot of pros out. But um, the, the industry isn't as big as it used to be. Um, so it kind of, it kind of, I don't know, has gotten to the point where teams aren't getting guns for free. I mean, some teams might, depending on how long they've been with a company or, you know, what kind of deals they were able to work out. You know, like, I know um, a Dynasty switching to Bob Long. Some of those players own Field 1. They have a stake in the company. So, of course, if they can, you know, they're going to get their guns for free and then they're going to push, you know, their guns as much as possible for people to, to buy. I mean, I'm, you know... I, I did the same thing when they were with Planet Eclipse, you know, they had the Dragon LV ones, and now I got fucking three of them sitting on the shelf. So, that's, like, that's kind of that portion where, 
you're not you're not getting stuff for free unless you actually have a stake in the company or again like you've had a relationship with the company and that's what sponsorship is really all about is building a relationship with the company that's offering you a sponsorship um i know you know again like back to you know we did it with smart parts and it was, you had to buy x amount of guns and now uh like the empire all-in packages or the uh, Imperial program through GI. It's like you have to buy X amount of packages to show that you have a team that's going to use their guns. You know, I have a, you know, Warp Crew is a team of 30 something people, and we have an, a deal through Lux that we have to buy X amount of guns to show that we are committed to using their, their markers throughout the season. You know, and I would love to jump on it right now, but. People have shit to do. People have jobs. People have commitments. People have families to take care of, and they can't always afford these guns. You know, so it's one of those things that companies understand that, you know, that happens. Life happens. Not everybody can afford it. So we're gonna we're gonna set the bar here, and if you can if you can get to that bar, great. I'm sorry, my cat is being a shit ass. If you can get to that bar, great. That means you're committed enough to our company and we're going to be committed enough to you that we're going to, you know, supply you with markers for the season, you know, at X, X price, you know, or we're going to, you know, we're going to be able to help you out at events. Sorry. So it's, it's one of those things that it's, it's not just we're giving you stuff and, you know, you play with it and take pictures. That's part of the deal. Like, we have a sponsorship through Exalt. And all they really ask of us is, you know, A, buy X amount of packages for your first go. Um, and then, uh, you know, then you can buy piece by piece whatever you need to. Here's your price. Here's the, the public price. And that's that's pretty much it. You know, it's not, here's a bunch of free shit. Take pictures in it. Play a tournament. Make sure you thank us as your sponsor. And we'll give you more free shit. It's you have to buy a certain amount, then you know, do something for us. Make sure you take pictures. Make sure you promote us, and you know, then we'll continue this the sponsorship and see how it how it goes. I mean, the uh, back to, back to building the relationship part. Uh, our friend Corey Field has been with DLX with Shocker for the last five, eight years, maybe, I don't know, I, did, I didn't really hear the exact number, but I, I heard over, over five years, so that's kind of one of those things that it's like, holy shit, you know, he's been with this company for a really long time, and, you know, he's committed enough to where, um, you know, they're going to keep buying guns for a pro team that's using them, so of course they give him a really good deal on them. I don't know what price he gets them for. I have no idea, and he didn't divulge any of that information to me. But it's one of those things that if you build the relationship with the company, the the pricing starts coming. The you know it's like, hey, you know what? Here, here's here's this on the side. Just you know, call it call it whatever. Um, so it's it's one of those things that you know that's that's where the point that's where paintball is at now. At this point where it's not, you know, oh, you know, you've got a team of, you know, 10 guys, you're playing in NXL, you're playing in, you know, PSP, I mean, PSP back then. Uh, so, you know, we'll, we'll throw you a couple extra guns and, you know, you guys can sell them to, you know, help support the team or you guys can, you know, do whatever the fuck you want with them. It, it doesn't matter, you know. Um, like talking with George about it, you know, he used to be able to call up Smart Parts and go, hey, we need 12 Freak Barrels for you know, this team, and they would be like, all right, cool, we'll send them to you, and that was it, we would, we, they would send them to him, and then whatever, because he had such, he had such a good relationship with Smart Parts, because he sold so much of their stuff, because he, the team that he sponsored produced so much for the store, so much for Smart Parts, that it's understandable that they'd be like, you know what, yeah, you guys have done a lot for us, here you go. So really what paintball sponsorship is about, I mean, these programs that these companies have come up with, not really. That's not really what sponsorship is. It's you're going to buy this fucking gear package for this much money, and then you're going to thank us for it. 
And that's that's pretty much what it is. I mean, granted, you're you know like I think for Empire, you're paying, I think like eleven hundred dollars, and you're getting, uh, like a Vanquish, and then you're you know yeah like everything else. Or no, I think it was more than that. I don't remember, but um, that's that's kind of what it that's kind of what it comes down to is that uh, these gear these companies that provide these gear packages are just you're gonna use our stuff. And you're gonna thank us for it, and that's all you're gonna get to use. Now, I mean, I've I've had players that they've hated the fucking gear that we've been given, you know, or that we had to buy that we had to use, and they didn't want to use it. The problem is, if you are caught using something that isn't the company that's your sponsorship, you lose your fucking sponsorship. End of end of story. There's no ifs ands or buts about it. You could hate the fucking shit that you're using, but that's too goddamn bad. You know, you're this is your sponsorship, you're going to use it, or you're going to fuck off. Like, we have a company that sponsors us, First Strike. I love their, I love their tanks, I love, you know, when I shot First Strikes, they were cool, but I, I mean, a lot of fields don't allow them anymore, but their tanks are amazing, you know, they're lightweight, they don't die, so after 15 years, as long as they still pass the hydro test, still use it, so that's great. Um, Exalt, you know, makes a lot of good soft goods. Uh, we just got a pair of pants for Krista, and now I'm like, well, I, w I want a pair of those. Because I've been wearing Eclipse pants since, I mean, not since day one. I used to wear Proto and dye pants, but, and then, you know, Empire and shit like that. But it was one of those things that I, now, you know, now that I saw the pants and, you know, how, how I see how they fit, it's like, all right, well, I, I kind of want a pair of those. Um, and I just haven't gotten them yet. Um, and then guns, you know, I've shot a Lux, I want to say for the past four years, I've, four or five years, I've, I've shot a Lux in some capacity, um, I had my first OLED, which for some reason I didn't like, and then I got a, or no, I had a 2.0 that shot great, and then when the OLED came out, I was like, cool, an OLED, that way I don't have to fuck around with a joystick, I don't have to listen to this dumb bitch, you know, tell me what fucking mode I'm in, but, um, for some reason, the first OLED that I had, I, I didn't like, it didn't sit well with me, um, so I got rid of it, and then I got another one, uh, the carbon fiber and purple one, which you guys saw me use for the last two years, I think, you know, I, I love that gun, and then, uh, I, I gave it to Krista, it started having problems for some reason, um, even, even when I took it out, like, I would clean it, lube it, do exactly how I, how I used to do everything that I used to, and for some reason it, it just wouldn't shoot. It might have, it might have been something with just, I didn't maintain something correctly, I know it had a regulator problem that got fixed right away, that's the great thing about DLX is that they do take care of you, like, right there, but, yeah, uh, traded that for the G6R that I have now, and I love that G6R, but because we are now being sponsored by DLX, by Shocker, I'm not going to be shooting it that much anymore because honestly, this the the ice. I love my ice. I think it shoots amazing. I think it shoots absolutely incredible. And that's not what sponsorship is about. Them handing you a gun, you saying nice things about it, and all all these people that have already put up reviews of the Shocker XLS. It's been out for two fucking weeks, and they put up a review after a, maybe a weekend of playing with it. How the fuck do you know if it's good or not? I don't understand that. I mean, I I might use this Shocker for a month. Or two. I mean, again, depending on when I get back on the field. Everybody that I've handed it to go, this thing shoots fucking amazing. And that was before we got the sponsorship for for Shocker and DLX. Every, everybody was like, oh, that's the new Shocker. Can I, you know, can I go shoot it? Can I shoot it in the chrono? Do you mind if I take it out for, you know, a little bit? And I was like, go for it. And they shot it, and they were like, this thing shoots great. It shoots straight. It, you know, it, it's light. It's light as shit. That's the thing that throws me off. Um, like, Krista's setup is her Shocker XLS. Even though it's my Shocker, she took a claim to it, so it's her Shocker. Um, so it's the pink Shocker with her 68 First Strike tank on it, and then her purple and, like, blackish-gray Spire 3. Uh, one of our, or two of our teammates took it out and went, I want this exact setup. This setup, it shoots amazing. It's, it feels great. And we're not sponsored by Virtue. It's just, I wish, but then we'd have to use Bunker King stuff, and eh, no thanks. But, uh, it's, it's one of those things that, like, as soon as I got the Shocker, and then I got fucked up 
uh, you know, not being able to play, I immediately posted, hey, you know what, I'm not able to play this weekend, but I'm bringing my guns from Shocker and from DLX. Because this was, this was before I applied for the sponsorship, but this was after I had talked to Corey, to Russell, to all the guys on Thunder, and, you know, and was kind of like, well, I, you know, I'd like to get a gun sponsorship for Warp, what do I have to do? And the main thing they said to me was, prove what you're going to do for the company, man. Like, make yourself, sell yourself to make you look as useful as possible. You know, so saying, I have a team of 30 people that need new guns. That's, holy shit, 30 guns. Possibly 30 guns to sell. That's awesome. But companies aren't really in it to move, you know, like, I, that's what Russell told me is that DLX is not in it to move guns. They're in it to build a relationship. But saying that you can move 30 guns, that's pretty fucking awesome. So, and then saying, you know, well, this is what I do, you know, as Fluffy Ninja, this is what I've done for the last couple of years. You know, I've showed off guns, I've reviewed guns on here, you know. Again, like, the, the video that I did on the XLS was just unboxing, showing what you're going to get, showing, you know, stuff like that. And, you know, uh, but, I, I mean, that's, that's really what sponsorship is, is making yourself as useful as possible to the company that's giving you the deal on the year that they're selling. You know, I mean, yeah, they're still making money off of you regardless, no matter what price they're selling it at. Like, to you, I mean, it's sponsorship, but it's, you know, however money or however much off, but their production cost is still lower than that, so it doesn't really bother them. Um, so, I mean, this, this video was kind of all fucking over the place, but it's, it's a video that I think needed to be made of... what you're doing when you're applying for a sponsorship you know even if you're just doing the empire all-in program the gi sports imperial program if you've got the virtue program or you know through dlx through shocker through you know what, whatever company um planet eclipse planet eclipse is like that higher art company that they don't have a sponsorship application at least not that i've seen um, talking with George about it, he was like, oh, well, I could have done, and it's like, well, you fucking said that too late, but it's, it's one of those things that, um, once, once we have a sponsorship from a company, me, uh, anyway, I'm committed to that company. I've shot a Lux for the last couple years, and I, as soon as the ice came out, and as soon as they released a the Shocker, and I shot it, and I was like, I want to be sponsored by this company. You know, I want, I want people to see what these guns do, you know, and stuff like that. I mean, we're, we're friends with NFG Nation, and they, they make fun of me all the time for shooting a Lux because, you know, it's not as efficient as an LV-1 or it does this or whatever. It's like, yeah, but it, it, that, to me that doesn't matter because it's, it's a gun that feels good in my hands. It's a gun that's shot quality is absolutely phenomenal, um, and it's a platform that I'm somewhat familiarized with that... It, you know, it's it's an extension of me that I can gun up and just, I know that ball's going to hit that guy. I know that ball's going to hit that guy. You know, and that's that's really that's really what it is about becoming so comfortable with a marker and paintball that you don't even have to look. You know you're going to shoot that lane. You know you're going to hit that guy off the break. You know you're going to shoot that guy, you know, through the fucking trees and gog him right in the mass during a big game. It's, it's one of those things. And while, yeah... Most of these companies are sponsoring teams that are playing NXL, teams that are playing MWXL. Hopefully, you know, I can get my team to do that, but it's one of those things that's it's all about commitment and time, and we don't really have either right now. But, um, you know, this, this is kind of a message, though, that if you are a scenario team, if you're starting a scenario team, you can still get a gun sponsorship. Go to your local pro shop first. We've been with Warp Sports. I've been with Warp Sports. For the last 10 years of my career, for the first, how many years have I been playing? 14, 15, 14, 15. For, for the first four years, I was just, I'll shoot whatever, I don't care, I get to play paintball, you know. And then, you know, I, I think I went in there once to buy, a, no, I, I, I bought Shocker. From, or an ion from Bad Boys. 
and that was like my first taste into into you know tournament paintball. I started started practicing out there, and then I bought a mini, which we later found out was not tournament legal. <laughs> started playing with that, you know, um, and then somebody handed me an ego or something, and I just, you know, it it just kind of progressed. From there. I don't really remember the entire fucking history of my career, but it's one of those things that once you know once you started you know on one path you know you kept going and i played tournaments for years not that big of a fan for it honestly especially now with lower divisions you spend so much money getting there so much money playing it and you get so little reward at the end so um i don't know they, they kind of took a down note but um <laughs> you know uh, I, I really hope that you know, this this video kind of made sense for you guys that are looking to get sponsored, looking to, um, you know, start a team and, you know, get all the free shit. That just doesn't happen. You know, there's a lot of teams that I know now that it's like, oh, we're sponsored by Vulcan. They give us this and this because, um, you know, because we say that we're sponsored by Vulcan, you know. And, I mean, Vulcan's a great company to get sponsored by. I'm going to edit that out. So, yeah, anyway. Um, you know, there's, there's a lot of companies that, that you can go to and say, this is my team. This is what we can do for you. This is what we can do to spread paintball. This is what we can do to, you know, to show off your, your gear, your markers. That's the biggest thing is that you have to make yourself seem important. You have to make yourself seem like they need you. That's the biggest thing for trying to play paintball and trying to get a sponsorship is you have to sell why they need you. Thank you guys very much for watching. Thank you guys very much for subscribing if you're a subscriber. We hit over 500 subscribers. I didn't even notice. I am sorry for that. With the job situation and stuff like that, I haven't really been able to pay attention to, to YouTube and stuff like that. But hopefully, you know... I, I say it every video, but hopefully we can get back into it pretty soon. Uh, I'm going to be getting a new job that's set hours, set days, and that way I have the rest of the fucking week to do YouTube. That would be great. So thank you guys again for watching. Thank you guys very much for subscribing. Um, share the video. You know, you probably know a few people that, that need the advice on sponsorship. So talk to you guys later.